before knife attack. A Hernando County woman underwent surgery after deputies say she was stabbed by her boyfriend's ex-girlfriend on Wednesday night. According to the Hernando County Sheriff's Office, Jeffrey, hold on y'all, went to a public school, so I'm going to need y'all to bear with me. 250 Gemstones Culture represents a nation of people that strive for excellence and greatness every single day. We are more than journalism. We are a revolution. Come on, come on, let's kick this door down and let everybody know we up in here. Welcome to the 250 Gemstones News TV channel. I am your host. Michael T. Porter and I'm bringing the news to your ass like no other. This is a channel that represents a nation of people that strive for excellence and greatness every single day. I have another bomb news segment for y'all, but before I begin, y'all hit that like button, that subscribe button, that share button, hit that notification bell so you know when I'm dropping. If you'd like to support the channel, cash app, dollar sign, Michael U.S. Show your boys some love. I work hard for y'all. Also, don't forget to check out my Spotify podcast, the 250 Gemstones Culture Podcast. Link is in the description. Y'all stay and watch the whole video. We need to talk. Oh, man. Before I begin, I want to say, those of you, this is your first time. I want to say thank you, thank you, thank you. Come on in. Y'all in for a treat. Those of you that been rocking with me since day one, as y'all can see, we are growing. And we will continue to grow. Thank y'all for all the support. Let's turn this mother out. Woman stabs. The new boo, the new girlfriend, her and her, her and her boyfriend broke up and her boyfriend said, uh, her ex-boyfriend was like, ah, I'm going to give me another chick. Got him another chick. And then Emily, the girl who stabbed the new girlfriend, she went down to her ex-boyfriend's house and found a hussy in, in his home where she used, used to sleep, where she used to get her back and her mouth blown out. She wasn't having it. She was jealous. I got a video I want to play for y'all and I'm going to be right back with you to give you my opinion. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Look at this mess here. This is according to fox13news.com. Let's see, let's see. Article titled Spring Hill Stabbing Suspect Claims Ex-Boyfriend's New Girlfriend Took Aggressive Stance Before Knife Attack. A Hernando County woman underwent surgery after deputies say she was stabbed by her boyfriend's ex-girlfriend on Wednesday night. According to the Hernando County Sheriff's Office, Jeffrey, hold on y'all, went to a public school, so I'm going to need y'all to bear with me. Hildebrandt, Jeffrey Hildebrandt Jr. and his girlfriend Sydney McCleary, 22, were hanging out at Hildebrandt's Spring Hill home when his girlfriend, his ex-girlfriend showed up unannounced. So this is the ex-girlfriend, Emily. She showed up unannounced. Uh, Jeffrey and Sydney, that's the new couple. They having themselves a good time. Some Netflix and chill. And here, Emily come with the, with the ruckus. Hildebrandt told deputies that he believed his former love interest, Emily Morales, 19, wanted to create a conflict. So he went to tell his mother, who was in another room. When Hildebrandt stepped away, deputies say McCleary answered the door and invited Morales inside. That's where she messed up. Don't, don't open that door. That's when, according to HCSO, Morales put out a pocket knife and stabbed McKelvey in the chest. Deputies say Hildebrandt heard the commotion and ran to the kitchen where he found McKelvey suffering from a stab wound. Morales who was still armed, ran away from the home after trying to stab Hildebrandt. Damn, she trying to stab both of them. McKelvey was taken to an area trauma center to be treated for injuries. Deputies said they found Morales at her Spring Hill home. After taking her into custody, deputies said she admitted to going to the Hildebrandt home to confront her ex-boyfriend, but said she didn't know McKelvey was also inside. When McKelvey answered the door, Morales told the detective she immediately became confrontational with her. However, deputies say Morales claimed McKelvey took an aggressive stance toward her and she reacted by stabbing her with a pocket knife. Morales went on to say that she tossed the knife on her way home. Morales was arrested and charged with aggravated battery with a deadly weapon and aggravated assault with a deadly weapon. McKelvey remains hospitalized. Her condition was not released by sheriff's office. Damn. 
Once again, if you guys want to check out this article, fox13news.com. This is an absolute mess. You understand what I'm saying? This is why if you're not in control of your emotions, your ass can end up behind bars. Your ass can end up in a penitentiary or end up in the dirt or end up paralyzed forever. A lot of people can't handle rejection and a lot of people just don't understand that when somebody don't like you they don't like you and you just have to accept the fact they don't want you and i think it hurts a lot you know i i got all my heartbreaks out the way like i'm just a heartless cold corrupt bastard the only thing that can get to my heart and my soul is god christ and the spirit you understand what i'm saying that's the only thing that can that can get to me like that because once you go through heartbreaks you begin to realize it's not wise to put all your your all into another human being because we're all flawed. So you just gotta do your best because you gotta remember, just like spirits are working through you, good and bad spirits are working through you, trying to persuade your soul. There's good and evil spirits working among your friends and family, and you know people 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 gonna be people, but handling rejection, you know, especially it hurts when that's your best friend though. It's beyond just a boyfriend and girlfriend. See, boyfriend and girlfriend's like a business, you know. You gotta respect her. We gotta pay the bills together. Boom, boom, boom. When you have a real connection, when that's your best friend, and you guys share all these wonderful memories, you guys have created all these wonderful memories, and they just up and leave with somebody else. It leaves you like in the cold, in the dark, because you experience something that's called love. You know, you got somebody that care for you. They're only for you. It's that. Uh, it's that worship they worship you they cater to you it's a warm fuzzy feeling but love is more than a warm and fuzzy feeling and this is where we get misconstrued that's a part of it but the root cause of love i'm talking about relationship is marriage i've made a lot of mistakes giving my heart to women that weren't my wife why are you giving your your heart to somebody that's not your wife when you love somebody that's not your wife you set yourself up for failure. When you love someone that's not your husband, you are setting yourself up for failure. Well, what are you talking about? Well, when you marry under God, that means it's a lifelong commitment. It's supposed to be. And you know, a lot of people has wiped their behind with marriage vows, but it's supposed to be uh, a sacred union between man and woman with the foundation of God. It's supposed to be a sacred covenant. It's precious, right? This is a this type of love which comes through marriage is expressing that you're going to be there for this person you only want this person and you're going to give it your all by the power of god to make sure this person is protected to make sure this person is supported to make sure this person's well-being is attended to so once you get married and you really guys are really love each other you guys are best friends you guys are building together and having families that's when you give your all you don't give your all to a complete stranger because you're we just give your all to a complete stranger. So a lot of us we get caught up in this dating thing because why did it feel so good? Why did it feel so right? And feelings are deceptive. And that's what the point that I'm making. Until you're married, until there's a ring, you know, I would never tell a woman I love her until you know, I don't know, until I'm married. You no. Know, oh, no, you have to be married first. Now, I ain't going to tell you I love you until to at least get the ring on. You know, telling women that you love them and, you know, that's false love. It ain't real until there's a ring and it's a, the authority is under God, right? So this woman goes over there. She's running. She's She's been touched with the, a small glimpse of love. That's how powerful love is with a small glimpse of love. And she lost her mind. He's probably good in the bedroom. They were probably best friends. But he probably realized she's a crazy bitch. The bitch is crazy. And he has to go. Right? So there's a lot of things that go on in relationships. But in order to be great, we got to make great decisions. And this was not a great decision for this woman to go out there and stab her ex-boyfriend's new boot thing. Imagine opening the door and you get a knife in your chest. Now you're in the hospital gasping for air. Now you're in the hospital hoping that you won't be paralyzed, hoping that, you know, you can see another day just by opening the door. And I believe this 
uh, Mr. Jeffrey saw how crazy this hoe was and he got up out of there. So y'all be careful out there. Y'all flood my comments. What do y'all think about Emily Morales, a woman who stabbed her ex-boyfriend's new girlfriend? Showed up to the house unannounced. She wants some revenge. Heartbroken. 250 capital G. I'm gone.